Hey there, Ruthie here, and welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my gift guide. If you haven't seen part one, go ahead and check it out. I'll have a link down below. My son is five months old, almost six months old. So they're starting to really um, engage with the world, right? They're not a newborn anymore. They're starting to roll. They'll soon start to sit up and crawl and walk and all those things. And before you know it, they're off to college. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just focus on the now. And um, so a lot of these are toys or things to help them engage with the world and start uh, their fine motor skills and with that why don't we just jump right in teething is a big thing that starts around now so I wanted to share some of my favorite teethers that I think will make great gifts this itsy ritzy kind of rattle one this banana toothbrush is a tried and true it's really easy for them to hold there's bristles on the top they will absolutely love this one and of course I can't talk about teethers without Sophie the giraffe they're gonna be spending more and more time on their tummy and kind of rolling and all of that so I wanted to continue and get some toys to engage with that area of course, I have an activity mat in my registry must-haves. I talk all about that, but I'll link a few down below if you are looking for an activity mat. I also got this interactive tummy time book. There's like a mirror. If you can see here, it lifts up, it has flaps, it kind of becomes a triangle. And so it's a very fun interactive book. I really like these kind of rattle toys that clip on, especially these ones. This is a skip hop one because they have all kinds of different things. So they have like a teether over here they have the crinkly sound they have some rings as you can see here it jingles it has like a squeak the kind of crinkly paper uh, a mirror all kinds of things so the kids can really be engaged this is a great one for on the go whenever you're going somewhere I'm also gonna get him this Melissa and dog soft book anything that kind of that crinkly books those are great at this age and they will love it and especially if they can stick it in their mouth and you can clean it um, we're also gonna get this this pack of little cars they're soft they roll they you pull them back and then they go forward and I think this is like more nine months but my daughter has already loved playing with it and I'm sure as soon as my uh, son is just a little bit older they can play with it together I love Melissa and Doug basically anything they make is pretty awesome <laughs> that's another thing probably anything you get your baby if you have an older child they will play with it more than your baby at first any of these kind of uh, teddy bears that sing as you can see this one has been loved by our family, but they play music they tickle you can I love you. I love oh, thank you. I love you, too. These uh, little Animals that make all kinds of sounds and talk and there's hands and feet and they can learn body parts this fat brain toy spinny thing I've seen lots of kids really enjoy, so I'm actually super excited and I think both my kids will love it, but it's basically you stack them in and they spin and whatever, you get it. Then, as I mentioned, they're kind of learning different things, so we're still in tummy time, but we before we know it, he's gonna be crawling and all of those things, so the next few are all around kind of, I would say, six and plus months old. Uh, definitely, if you don't have a little jumper, get one of those. This, this is the one that I have. Keeps them contained, keeps them I'm also going to be getting him this leapfrog little learning center. It's basically a table with all kinds of activities on top and we're going to be starting solid so I am going to be getting him some things around that. I am going to get in him a sippy cup with and starting to introduce some water. My old time best favorite sippy cup is the munchkin like straw trainer cup. They can hold it. There's a weight so it keeps the straw down. These are awesome and I absolutely love them. Uh, the only thing that I think people sometimes complain about them is cleaning them. But I will have a video all about how we clean ours because my husband has perfected it. Some cute silicone bibs to kind of keep it all the messes. There's some funny ones out there, so I'll link a few. Also, you probably know about Amazon. You probably use Amazon. But until I had kids, I really didn't create Amazon lists. Go create one. If you've never signed up for Prime, I do have a link below for 30 days free, so you can go ahead and check that out. But in general, go make a list. It's the best thing for each kid. I will create an Amazon list, and I will share this with grandparents and anyone who wants to get gifts for my kids. That way, they're not asking you or texting you tons of pictures and 
getting your opinion or getting you duplicate items, go create an Amazon list. And while you're at it, moms, make yourself a list and send it to your hubby. That way, he has some ideas of what you wanna get for this holiday season. If you saw my toddler video, I'm getting my daughter this little silicone divided plate. Uh, so I'm getting my son one as well. And then a placemat with his name on it, a little personalized item for him. They're gonna start engaging more and more in bath time. It's no longer you kind of putting them safely in a bath, giving them, making sure they're nice and uh, clean and probably getting them out pretty quickly after that. Now they're gonna really start enjoying, they're probably splashing their feet. So I like to have definitely some bath toys. My all time favorite are these stacking cups by Skip Hop. They each have different quantity of holes so the water comes out at different things, but it's really fun for them to play with. You can also take these out of the house and play in like a splash pad or with sand or whatever thing. So they are pretty universal, but most importantly, they're easy to clean and they won't get all moldy. A lot of those like squeaky ones, it's really, after a while they get moldy on the inside and really gross. So I love these little cups from Skip Hop. We are gonna get him his very own Pottery Barn Anywhere chair. A little chair like this is definitely worth it. My daughter loves coming in here. We created a little reading nook for her and she reads and just enjoys it. And so we're gonna be creating a similar thing for my son. And then lastly, your baby grows really quickly. They're, you're probably having to buy them new clothes all the time. So use the holidays as a time to buy some of those clothes. Maybe get them some cute pajamas, especially holiday ones. Get them some new onesies, some pants, whatever you might need. This is the time to do some clothing inventory, stock up a bunch of things. One of the brands of pajamas that I really love is the Burt's Bees, especially in kind of this age. Of course, they have the zipper. They're pretty slimming on them. They have the little footsy grippy things, even pretty early on. So this is a zero to three month and it already has it. I just really like the Burt's Bees quality of pajamas. Of course, I will also link the wire cutter gift guide for this age group. Love wire cutter, they won't do you wrong, so go check them out. Uh, there's some fun ideas. That is really what my son is getting for the holidays or some of our favorite gifts. Everything that I talked about, I will link down below from Amazon, but I encourage you to go take a look at Target, at Ross, at TJ Maxx, at Home Goods, because a lot of these things can be purchased there at a fraction of the price that they are on Amazon. Just easiest for me to link to Amazon. And with that, I wish you and your family a really happy, warm, safe holiday season. Even though this year is a little crazy, I hope that you take the time to really enjoy it. And I hope that this video helped you out, gave you some inspiration. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you at my next one. Bye.